Hello, today I have a home and an itty bitty little bit of clothing slash makeup haul for you. As you'll probably know if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram or any social media, or you have watched the, the past couple of my videos, you will know that I've just moved house. So I've become a little bit obsessed with buying like little trinkety home things and yes, so I thought I would share with you what I've fetched already and I've also picked up a couple of clothing items and one makeup item in the last couple of days so I thought I'd show you, share that with you at the same time because it didn't really warrant its own haul video so yes. So I'll start with clothing seems as it is the smallest part of it. I've seen so many people wearing this jumper and I'm literally obsessed with it, it's the softest, it's the softest jumper I own, and it's the comfiest jumper I own, and it is this one from H&M. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but it's a long sleeved thin, thin knit jumper, oversized, and then it has, it's long at the back and short at the front, like that, and then there's a little slit in the middle, just like that. This jumper goes with absolutely everything, I've worn it to work, I've worn it I wore it to Harry Potter, it's just really comfortable, it goes with anything, jeans, leggings, skirts as you were about to see, and I love it and I want to get it in lots of different colours, they do do it in lots of other colours as well, they do it in um, like a, a berry kind of colour which obviously I want to get, they do it in a black, a white, um, an emerald green, so many colours, and I think it was only 14 99 so bargain. And then this item next is a bit of a risky one for me. I, I don't own anything like it in my wardrobe already um, but this year I kind of want to get a bit more confident with the sort of clothing that I wear. Like I see so many things that I'd really like to wear but I'm just scared to wear them out so I don't get them so I never wear them. Um, but when I saw this the girls that I was with persuaded me to get it and it goes perfectly with that jumper. It is this pencil skirt from Topshop. It sits just below my knee, so it's a perfect length. It is very high waisted, so I don't think I'll wear it with anything like tucked in. I'll just wear it with jumps over the top, like the H&M one. But it's so comfortable. It's a polyester material, and then it's got a bit of elastic, elastic, elasticity, elasticity in it, so it's stretchy. It's really easy to walk in because that was one thing I was worried about is that I would look like a bit of an idiot trying to walk in it. You know, you have to take like those tiny little steps. But it's fine, you can walk normally in it. And I really, really love the pattern. And I thought it would be kind of an easier way for me to go into wearing pattern skirts. Because I don't own any pattern skirts at all. And this skirt is from Topshop and it was £24. Which actually I don't think that was that bad for Topshop. When I first saw it I was expecting it to be like 36 Because that's usually what it means I like. A price tag. Next one is the makeup item. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what this is. I am wearing it. It is Ruby Woo from by Matt. I hear about this lipstick, or I have heard about this lipstick for a very long time. I'm not really a red lipstick kind of person. Red kind of scares me, as you know if you've watched my videos for quite a while. I'm more of um, a bright pink or like a, a deep plummy red kind of person. I've never gone for the traditional bright red before. I spoke to one of the girls at work and because Ruby is a matte, it's a bit easier to wear. It doesn't smudge as much so you don't really have to worry about it throughout the day where some other reds you put it on you can get it all over your face. Been there, done that. I'm now obsessed with this lipstick. I have worn it so many times. It wears so well through eating and just through like day to day life. I just need to get a lip liner for this now because I just think reds look a bit better when they're a bit neater around the line. So I need to get a red lip liner. Okay, now on to homey things. Actually, no, it's not. I went to Maxilan and I picked up one hair thing. I picked up these scrunchies. Now, I know people that are going to absolutely hate these, but I really like them. They're really small little scrunchies. I'm bored of how I wear my hair. It's either like this or it's up in a ponytail. There's just no versatility to how I do my hair at all. So I thought a normal ponytail and then I can just wear a scrunchie instead and it's just kind of something else, I don't know, we'll see. I may not even wear these, but they were £5 for the three, so I thought I'd try them out. Like I said, I'm trying to be a bit more adventurous this year, so we'll see, maybe you'll see some in the video. Okay, now on to actual home things. So, as I said, me and my mum, we popped into Maxilan the other day, and I picked up uh, three things. The first thing is kind of a home thing, kind of not, and it's a bit random, but it is this, and you're probably all like, what on earth is it? It's a lunch pod, is what they've called it, and it's a microwave safe lunch pod. I take my lunch to work because it's just a lot cheaper. 
but I, it's always like sandwiches or like packet soups and things like that. Whereas in this, if I can open it with one hand, I can take like soups and pasta, and then inside you've got like a there's a two part compartment here where you can take that and just have one big compartment. So for like pastas and soups and noodles and I didn't even know anything you can take in here. And then that just does up there. It's got a little handle like this, and also a tiny little spoon. Fork. It's a fork. And it just opens up like that. I can make like fresh pasta and stuff and reheat it when I'm there. And this was five pounds. A practical purchase, this one. I am a sucker for cute little like door signs and things like that. And because we're in a bungalow now, all the doors kind of, you can't really tell what's what when you're walking around. So we picked up two signs. The first one is this one and it says, bubble your troubles away. And this one's obviously going on the bathroom. I'm obsessed with bubble baths, I love bubble baths. And this is just really cute. So I think uh, and it was only three pounds, I think. Price is not on there anymore. But yes, it's only three pounds. We now have a utility as well, which we've not had before. Um, and I couldn't resist this sign. It says, open 24 hours, self-service laundry, wash, dry, fold, repeat. And I just thought it would be really cute on the, the utility drawer. Drawer? Door. On the utility door. So I picked up this fox blanket for the end of my bed. I'm a bit obsessed with little foxes at the moment and as you all know orange is my favourite colour so I couldn't really resist it. It was 19 99 and it's really thick and it's double sided so it's um, orange on one side with white foxes and white on the other side with orange foxes and I just love it so yes. And then the duvet set that I've currently got on my bed, this was from Primark, I think it was like £12, I can't remember, but again it's double sided, grey on one side with white ribboned animals and white on the other side with grey ribboned animals, and it's got squirrels and deer and rabbits and hedgehogs and owls I think all over it and I just love it and it goes really well with my little fox blanket as well now. <laughs> Last but not least, we went into Pets at Home and picked up this cat scratch and swing hammock, is what it's called. It was £35, it's got three stories and there's this little like, hammock on the bottom. But the reason I got it is so that she could climb up it to get onto the windowsill. She's still a bit scared of it and she hasn't gone onto the top level yet. But we're getting there, I'm trying to persuade her with treats. And that's everything that I've purchased so far. Um, I'm sure I will purchase many, many more things and there are going to be many, many more home hauls. Don't forget my social media links down below. Follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with everything that's going on with my bedroom. Because um, if I don't do a video update, it will probably be an update in a photo form. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye!